Gunter is officially the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. A record that in my opinion should have been broken a long ass time ago. Look people, when Honky Tonk Man was the intercontinental champion, I wasn't even born. Hell, I wasn't even swimming in a ball sack. And I do understand that Honky Tonk Man's intercontinental championship title reign was done for the purposes of comedy. It was a running gag for a very long time in the WWE. For me it's crazy how much time it took to break break that record. You see people, the Intercontinental Championship had its ups and downs. At a certain point it was used for a future main eventer. If you win that championship you can bet your ass you're going to win the WWE Championship in the near future. But then it became strictly for mid-carders. I even remember a time when Curtis Axel and CM Punk were in a rivalry. Curtis Axel was the Intercontinental Champion and they never had a match for the Intercontinental Championship. I remember that because that's when I realized this championship doesn't mean as much as we wish it would. Winning the Intercontinental Championship at that point meant that you're no longer a main eventer. I also remember WWE not booking Intercontinental Championship matches at WrestleMania. At one point the closest thing to a WrestleMania was a WrestleMania pre-show and one of the writers I believe said be thankful that this championship is on a pre-show. And that was really sad. A championship that has such a long history, such beautiful designs, just felt like an afterthought. In my opinion, it all changed with The Miz. More specifically, Miz vs. Dolph. Ziggler. Smackdown 2016. The Intercontinental Championship program was more interesting than anything that happened with the WWE title. They treated this championship like it means everything. Dolph Ziggler even put his career on the line for that championship. A lot of people are giving credit to The Miz and rightfully so. Dolph Ziggler deserves that credit too. Unfortunately, he just didn't get that long Intercontinental Championship title reign. Ever since then, it was ups and downs. We've seen a great Intercontinental Championship title reign with uh, Sami Zayn, and I think that was really, really entertaining. But the problem remained. It was entertaining, but Sami Zayn was not portrayed as a tough dude. Enter Gunter. Gunter is a man who could be the undisputed WWE champion, and he won the Intercontinental Championship a couple of months and this championship means everything. His championship title reign was so good, I'm okay with the design, even though it has nothing on the white strap. 454 days. And during that time, we got some really impressive stuff. Now my problem with Gunter was we didn't get enough interesting rivalries but even that has changed and I believe the reason behind it is because yes he was the intercontinental champion but the idea of the longest reigning champion wasn't there. Now we have that so now everyone who's trying to beat Gunter is also trying to beat his streak, his record. It's like if you beat Gunter right now, you're not only the new intercontinental champion, you just dethroned the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, at least in kayfabe. There's no denying it, uh, intercontinental championship matches from Gunter were amazing. Uh, one of my favorite rivalries was Gunter vs. Sheamus. I think we can all agree, probably the best match of the year, at least a candidate. And also Drew McIntyre vs. Sheamus vs. Gunter at WrestleMania might be at least one of the best triple threat WrestleMania matches of all time. And I like the way Gunter carries himself. Not only the championship means a lot because he's holding that for a a very long time but also the fact that he carries himself as a champion he said it himself he wants to bring back the prestige to the intercontinental championship my dude is watching number one contenders matches and he wants people to earn these opportunities the only thing i don't like about this championship title reign or gunter's character is that he keeps interfering and cheating he doesn't need that this championship title reign is so good it kind of made chad gable now don't get me wrong Chad Gable is always unbelievable, but it changed his character. Chad Gable doesn't look like someone who could beat Gunter, but he almost did. And his biggest goal in pro wrestling right now is to take that championship. I love this rivalry. The match on Monday Night Raw just felt so classic, and I'm glad we still have characters, wrestlers, whether, you know, in the ring or on microphone, that still feel that way, that are like legit 
wrestlers. The match was absolutely unbelievable. The investment, the stakes, come on. Chad Gable gave it his all, but in the end, lost the match. And all the little things. He had his family in the audience and it made them cry. Gunter's last match before breaking the record was absolutely perfect. What you guys didn't see is that after the show, Chad Gable was angry that Gunter mocked his family. You don't do that. He also said, there's no time anymore for all the goofy stuff. No more shush, no more thank you. This is getting serious. He swears to God he's taking that championship. Maybe it's just me, but that just feels like old school wrestling. Gunter Body Intercontinental Championship to heights we haven't seen in a very long time. What do you do now? Yes, now Gunter can lose. But should he? Should he lose in a random episode of Raw or we save that for a big pay-per-view and in my opinion it should be Chad Gable. This championship should mean everything to him. It does now, kinda. WWE managed to book this so correctly, so perfectly that now Chad Gable winning this championship would feel like him winning the world heavyweight title. I can already picture that moment. Gunter's Intercontinental Championship title reign is a major W. But let me know in the comments below what do you expect from this championship title reign? What did you like? What you didn't like? As always click that like button if you already didn't. Subscribe if you already hadn't and tickle the ball sack. The right one. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.